hi guys welcome back to my channel and back to another ride with me vlog as you can see today i'm assigned to ride mr bandit if you saw my last video with bandit you would know that he is a very peculiar man he is a really really strange dude he's got tons of little quirks but he really is such a good ride he's so smooth it's like sitting on a cloud bandit honestly is quite a grumpy boy so i am tacking him up in the cross ties today because he's just easier to deal with and it's no surprise that bandit absolutely hates all the horses he hates all the horses and he hates the pig <laughs> Does confetti want to come in here? Where's confetti? Oh. <laughs> Poor confetti is just absolutely terrified of Bandit because he's making such mean faces at her and she's like, nah, -uh, girlfriend, I ain't going there. Look at him, he's so mean. She's like, I'm not going there. Even though he's a grumpy boy and a little bit of a meanie, I do still quite enjoy riding him. And I'm excited for my ride on him today. I've only ever ridden him once before and it was honestly such a good ride. Poor Bandit, sorry I didn't mean to drop your treat there. Um, but he is the definition of you need to just sit there. The less you do, the happier he is. He does not like when you actually try to ride him. So the best way to ride him is to just sit there quietly. In my opinion, Bandit has the horse version of resting bee face. <laughs> Anyways, so now moving on to Bandit's legs and I'm making sure to give him lots and lots of treats. He doesn't know me that well and I don't know him that well. So I want him to have a good experience with me. <laughs> yeah. Panda is definitely a handful when trying to tack up and that is why he is in the cross ties today. Okay, moving on to his feet, just going to pick out his feet and he honestly wasn't too bad with these. I was expecting a lot worse just based on when I was brushing his legs, but no, he was pretty good and he deserves some treats of course. Okay, now that we've made it through the grooming process, it is time to get Bandit all saddled up. And he's looking absolutely gorgeous in green, of course. That's crazy. Are you grumpy? You want another one? Yeah. Oh, you gave me a little nick. You gave me a little nick. Here you go. You've had so many of these. No wonder you're chunky. Just me? Bandito. You're going to get fatter, Bandit. Okay, now that Bandit is all ready, it is time to get him bridled. Oh! Who is this? Who is this baby? The baby! Who is this baby? Oh! You guys! You have the softest face I've ever touched. Okay, bridal time for Bandit, and I'm very curious to see how he's going to be to bridal. When I rode him last, he was already in the lesson before, so I didn't have to tack him up or anything. So I'm curious if he's going to be a good boy or if he's going to be difficult. So cute. Oh, Can you take this, please? Thank you. The, the year. <laughs> Oh wow, that was easy. I'm surprised. So that was probably the easiest I've ever bridled a horse. Bandit is such a weird dude. Why does he put up such a big fuss in other areas? And here he's like, all right, I guess we're going for a ride. Let's do this. He's so funny. Why the swirl? Hello, the baby, the swirl. Let's go. 
Okay, so we're basically all ready to go. Just putting on my riding gloves now. We're going to head into the barn and do our prep steps and get on and start our lesson. Who is that handsome boy? I'm assuming no crop with the bandit man. Bandit. So now I'm just going to check my tack, tightening the girth and checking the stirrups before I get on. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. That was a nip. I know. I know, buddy. I know. <laughs> Bandit hates everyone. You don't even like people, do you? So throughout this entire lesson, we'll see that Bandit has beef with everyone, including the pig. The pig's not gonna bother you. He might. Come on. Boy. Okay, so now we're ready to mount and start our lesson. So like I said before, I've only ever ridden Bandit once and I don't really know him that well, but he does seem exceptionally grumpy today. He usually is in our lessons and I don't know, I just feel like he's very extra grumpy today. Picking up the trot now, and Bandit is as smooth as a cloud as per usual. I absolutely love riding him. It is like a dream. He's so smooth. He's so smooth. I feel like I'm on vacation. Right now, we have a very calm and relaxed, carefree trot going, um, but you'll see that this doesn't really last. Ooh, easy. They're both on eight. Doesn't matter. And they're the same. This one's shorter? Yeah. Gone. Okay. Whoa. Don't make mean faces, Bennett. That's your friend Alesh. You should have seen him making faces at Pumba. Now you can see Bandit's trot is a little bit more frantic and fast than it was when I first got on him. Ooh, easy. Hmm. Okay. 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 
So Bandit is a very, very sensitive horse and somehow lately, I don't know when this started happening, but I've seemed to develop a strange habit when I pose. My knee and thigh have gotten quite stiff. Whoa, just walk. Just walk. It was really prominent today when I was riding Bandit and because Bandit is so sensitive, he was reacting really poorly to the way that I was riding. He was not happy with my position today. Easy. As you can see, he's trotting really, really fast. His head and neck are held quite high. He's very stressed, and um, this is pretty much how the rest of our ride goes. So I keep trying to bring him back to walk. I just want him to calm down and relax before I ask him to trot. I feel very uneven in the saddle today. Or like something that feels to the right a lot, so you have to constantly shift it back to the right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bend it easy. Uh, okay, I'm not sure I totally understand. Are you saying more of like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he seems pretty worked up. Calm down. Spend it. To be honest, I think Bandit was already kind of in a bad mood today and then the way that I was riding him was just making him more angry and annoyed. We just really weren't clicking today. Wider, longer steps. Longer steps, yes. Easy. Whoa, I did not ask for trot. Did not ask for trot. Whoa. Okay, now we can try.
No. <laughs> I think we have a good chance behind red. Okay, so our extended trot wasn't going too great. I don't think we were necessarily extending. He was definitely going faster, but I think his steps were still quite short. They were short, but they were quick, so we weren't really extending. He's getting it like really worked up. So make sure you're not squeezing it. It's just no, I, I'm barely touching him. <laughs> so Bandit was getting pretty worked up from our attempt at extended trot. So I was just giving him a little bit of a walk break. I want him to calm down, relax a little bit before it gets out of control. Come back to trot. Ah, so we're talking about your legs. You're, when you're trying, you look down. Your whole thigh is so far back, it's not touching the knee flap. Mm. So now, your knee is on the knee flap, and you're trotting. Your and then, is this like having too far of a That's back? too far back. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, when you're trotting, your whole leg is back here. Like, it's not even mm. touching the knee flap, right? So, you have it all the way back here, yeah. and that's why you're losing your balance. You need your knee to be up on this knee flap, and then leg here, relax your ankle a bit, yep. And then when you're trotting, it just goes whoop, like this. Just a little, mm. just a little. Just a small amount of movement, okay? okay? But right now, your knee is stiff. So when you're posting, this is happening. Uh. But it's happening like with a stiff knee. So from here, your whole thigh pretty much is doing this when you're posting. Oh. Uh. Right? Okay. So Make just kind of like that? Yeah, so your post comes into your thigh. So just a little. So roll forward, stand up now and post, roll forward. But don't stiffen this knee. See how that knee got stiff? There, there, yes, uh, yes. Now your knee is softer and moving. Two years later, still learning how to pose. <laughs> you know what? You kind of just get comfortable with something for a while. And, and then you don't think about ride, it, it yeah. Okay, and then you go on a different horse and it looks weird suddenly, yeah. Okay, Bandit. So today was definitely an off riding day for me. I was definitely understanding what my trainer was telling me to do, but for some reason I was just having a very difficult time applying it, especially in the situation that Bandit and I were already in. What are you, Bandits? Easy. Um, so now going this way, we're supposed to be working on the collected trot, but as you can see, that was definitely not happening for Bandit and I today. Yeah, he's on something. <laughs> he's in bad mood. Okay, so here we've collected the trot slightly, ever so slightly. In order to ask for a collected trot, you want to sit the trot and have um, a little bit more rain contact. Uh, Bandit does not like rain contact. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, bandit. Oh. Yeah. So when I would bring Bandit back to walk to kind of give him a second Whoa. to calm down, he kept trying to pick up the trot before I asked him to, which I don't like. I want to make sure that he's listening to me. So every time he would do that, I would just make sure he would go back to walk until he calmed down. Walk. 
walk. Walk. Walk. Walk. Don't throw me off. <laughs> Maybe. He feel like, cause when I first got on him and we did like one or two tra uh, uh, laps of trot, he was so chill, so calm. And then all of a sudden he's like, ah. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Your position's just a little stiff. Just a little too stiff for him? Yeah, okay. Oh man. <laughs> Less is good, Less is more. Less is more. Come on. Less is more, Bandit. If you guys saw my last video with Bandit, you would know that he is very, very dramatic when asking for canter. He's fine. This is just the way that he is. And today, because he's already in a bad mood, he's extra dramatic. So just keep that in mind. job that was that was fine up until that point but <laughs> good boy good boy thank you yeah no it was fine coming back to try yeah yeah too stiff yeah okay yeah yeah and then woo. <laughs> okay so yeah i would say my biggest weakness with canter is definitely coming back to try it is something that i really really need to work on is that transition but overall um i think our canter was pretty good our corners were pretty horrendous but we're not going to talk about that right now my focus Hello. was honestly to just get him to a nice relaxed canter just sit there i didn't want to add too much leg i didn't want to pull too much to get him into the corners so bandit is not so good with his right canter lead he definitely needs a lot of help to pick up the right lead bandit. he's like i don't want to go this way Whoa. Was this wrong? I think it's right. Whoa. Right. Look at both legs. Oh, wrong. Whoa. Easy. 
있고. Okay, so better downward transition from canter to trot. I'm still pretty stiff making the transition quite bouncy for me though. <sighs> No tolerance for pigs. No, he does not. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. Oh. Hey, we still walked at sea though. <laughs> and like, I actually could tell it was wrong. Yeah. You really do have to look at both. Like. Yeah. For now. Oh, to be able to feel it. So we weren't successful in getting his correct canter lead, but that's okay because his right lead is his bad way. And we really only have the two opportunities in the corner to get it. Um, and Bandit was having a lot of trouble today as it already was. Trap. Right. Ah. Whoa. I was so confident too. I was like, it's right. <laughs> At least we're getting our walk at sea, though. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus Christ. So that was our very, very interesting lesson today. I think it's safe to say that Bandit and I weren't really clicking today. Go boy, Bandit. Ew. You slobbery. Honestly feels like such a different horse today when I rode him on the last time and a lot of that is definitely my fault. He is very very sensitive and I was just way too stiff for his liking today. Plus I do genuinely think that he was already in an extra bad mood. He's usually not this grumpy with the other horses. He's, he's still grumpy, don't get me wrong, but I feel like he was just extra today. Could you teach the pools? Before we head back into the barn, I'm just going to cool out Bandit for approximately 10 minutes. I want to make sure that he's not sweaty and he's properly cooled down before we head back out into the cold. And now we're heading back into the barn and I'm going to untag, groom, and Bandit is staying in so I don't have to bring him back outside. Are you hungry? <laughs> 
I know. Good boy. Not covered in slop yet. Even though we didn't have the best ride, overall, I do think this was a very, very valuable lesson for me. You know, it really pointed out that I have some things that I need to work on in my position and Bandit just really made that obvious. Um, so that is going to be my focus for my next few lessons. I really wanna fix this stiff knee problem and I won't be satisfied until my trainer stops commenting on it. Bandit! You're a good boy today. You're a good boy. Hi guys, so that was our lesson today. Um, that was an interesting one. Bandit was definitely not a happy camper. He is a very, very sensitive horse. I don't know him that well. I've only ever ridden him once before. Um, and I think my position was a little tense and stiff and tight today. And then because Bandit's super sensitive, he just feeds on that a lot. Um, and we had a little bit of a, it was a little bit of a frustrating ride, but I think after we had a couple laps of canter going, he calmed down a little bit, released some of that energy. Um, so I think we ended up on a good note. I almost fell off. I've been having a lot of close calls lately, too many for comfort. Um, I think the last time I actually like fell, fell off was in the spring. Um, and I really want to go a whole year without falling off, so... I will do my very best to stay on. Too many close calls. Can't have any more of those. But I asked my trainer if I could ride Daisy soon because I haven't ridden her in so long. And hopefully I will. So hopefully you'll see a video out with Daisy soon. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.